Hey guys, just want to do a quick video today about um, balance and sketching, uh, mostly about sketching though. Um, a lot of people hate sketching. They think that's kind of useless and not something they're ever going to use, but I wanted to kind of show you guys the importance of it. Some of you have heard me talk about this a lot, but it's always good to go back over. Um, by the way, this is, this is Fizzgig. She's joining us today. She wants to get out of the house. So she's going to be eating some remains. So if you hear really, really obnoxiously loud chewing, it's probably her. Um, so that said, um, first thing first, I will never, ever, ever assign you anything that I'm not willing to do myself. Um, the district set up these modules for us, which are awesome, and the projects are really nice. But I'm still doing it all with you. So... I did the collage one um, and I did this balance one, but I really wanted to focus on the balance one because I went kind of further than I would ask you guys to do, but I still did all the sketching and planning before I finished it. Um, and actually I finished that over the weekend. So I'm gonna show you how I got from point A to point B, and then I'll talk a little bit about the balance in my piece or I may open it up to discussion where you're supposed to tell me, but it depends when we get there. First, this is my sketch. You're gonna notice first things first, this is a whole piece of paper, but there's not one sketch on the whole thing. This is actually full of a bunch of sketches. And I've told you guys to do that before, um, if we've had the sketching talk. It's easier to see what the whole piece is gonna look like when it's small. If you have a large canvas that has a large piece on it and you have to make like 50 different ones you might not be able to plan very well um, when I look at all of these I can sort of bring my eye from one to the other and say okay well I like how close that one is but this one's a little better I like the vertical height um, this seems really close but this is a little bit stout I really like a little more breathing room on the top and bottom and I can make those decisions and quickly compare everything. And I might see one and go, oh, you know what? I really like the idea of this part. I'm gonna bring that down into this one, I think. And I'm gonna do that element. So having everything in one spot and having everything really small can actually help you. It also makes each sketch take a lot less time. This is way shorter than filling up an entire piece of paper with a single sketch. I would rather see this than one giant sketch. And the other part about sketching is that one sketch is often not enough. I don't know if you've ever been planning for something and you only have one plan because you're rushed and then your plan was kind of awful. Well, that goes with this too. So my first sketch was this one. Um, obviously it's not a full sketch, but what I do have there is the beginning of something that I, I recognize that be way too close to the edge. So I moved on to this one where I made that shape a little bit smaller and ended up being able to fit both figures on there. Um, just really quickly doing that, I could tell that it wasn't the right place for me to go. And I started kind of evolving as I went across the page. This took me maybe two minutes, three minutes, five minutes maximum because I took a break. This is the next place that I went, and that took me a little bit longer, but I already knew the basic idea of what I wanted. So my cat's trying to get into the camera. Um, I already knew the basic idea of what I wanted to do. Excuse me, sir. So it was a lot easier to make something larger. I did take a little bit more time on this, but I'm trying to see if you can even see it on the camera. There you go. I have parts of the background now that I didn't have before on my smaller sheet. I didn't really have that. I didn't want to waste the time on it. Why am I going to spend time on something I'm not going to pursue? This I knew I was going to pursue. So now I was really concentrating on how much room did I want on my canvas? And what was I going to do back here? That moved into one of the most important sketches, which is my planning sketch. This is for the final. This is like my semi-final or my, um, almost final draft. This is my plan for my final. So I have most of the information pretty clear with, you know, 
sketchy but solid lines. My final wasn't going to have those solid lines, but I needed them so that I could plan accordingly and know what I was going to do. Second to last thing I did was I did a painting sketch. I was using watercolor. I'm not going to ask you guys to do watercolor without me there. That would be insanity, frankly. Um, you can't fix watercolor if it gets messed up. So I wouldn't suggest it if you're not someone who already kind of wants to use watercolor. But for me, it was really important to figure out what was going where so I didn't make any mistakes as I was going. So I've got no lines, just color. But from this, I could tell where the color was going to go, how it was going to fade out, and how it was going to blend together. Which meant I could move to my absolute final, which was this. And the color's more intense in real life. Um, the camera kind of makes it a little browner than it's supposed to be. You can see sometimes when the light hits, it's a little bit brighter. But this ended up being my final piece. Um, this is my fan art for Journey. So my characters are very bright. Everything else is a little bit uh, misty looking, kind of dreamlike in the background because this isn't my focal point. They're my focal point. So this ended up being my final, but it started here, okay? I started at that picture and ended up with this one, one that I actually really like. I, will, I would not have liked it if I had gone ahead with what I was planning for this part. I wouldn't have liked it. So try to give your sketches a little more breathing room. Sketch, take a few minutes for a break, look at it the next day, maybe, and then say, okay, do I still like this idea? And then go forward from there. But very rarely is my first idea the one that I go with. Very, very, very rarely. Um, and as far as the balance part of it, I think I'm gonna open this up for discussion for you guys. So if you watch this video, I want you to look at this, okay? And I want you to tell me what the balance is. Is this asymmetrical? Is it symmetrical? Is it radial? Hint, it's not radial. So I want you guys to look at this and tell me what you think it is, okay? And I want you to use my first video that I made and I want you to use what the district put together in the module to make an informed decision as to whether this is symmetrical slash formal or asymmetrical slash informal. Okay, so that's what I want you guys to do. If you're watching this video, just let me know, is it asymmetrical or is it symmetrical? Okay, and then tell me why. Make sure that you understand why you're making that choice. That way you can look at yours and know why it is symmetrical or asymmetrical. Because you might say it's symmetrical and it turns out it's really not. You might think it's asymmetrical and it turns out it's actually symmetrical. So I want you to be able to look at what you make and identify it and understand how you identified it. All right, so hopefully that was helpful. Um, as always, if you need extra help, please reach out to me. I'm happy to hop on Zoom anytime and just have a private Zoom with you guys and work one-on-one. -on -one. Um, I'll answer questions basically any time of the day. I've been up at two in the morning answering questions. I've been in the middle of eating dinner or watching TV at night or even playing Animal Crossing or Trials of Mana, which is really good. Um, and I've just been answering questions from people and grading things. So there's really no time that's bad. So reach out to me anytime you need it. Um, that's all from me, Fizzgig, and Stripe back there who's waiting for me to put his wife back in the cage. Um, if you have anything, please let me know, but hopefully this was at least a little bit um, helpful in at least showing you how to do the sketching and planning and maybe a little bit of the, the balance portion. So. Give me your answers. There is a discussion for you guys in the discussions that I want you to look at. Um, the weekly Zoom is 1.30 on Wednesday. All right, hopefully helpful. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Bye.